Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Clary and I'm your transformational nutrition coach. And today I wanted to share with you real quickly how to do a colon massage. So why do you want to do that? Well, one, it feels good. <laughs> Two, it helps if you're extremely someone who's like constipated and or you aren't fully eliminating like you're going to the bathroom but you're like I have more why isn't more coming out so this massage will help move thing and help assist you because for whatever reason you have really kind of poor colon health so a this is not getting to the root cause, okay? So the root cause to really help with your constipation is to eat more of a plant-based diet, okay? You need more fiber, and I'm not talking, <laughs> I feel like I'm being a hypocrite right now, because right now I'm doing um, a colon cleanse, and because um, I was supposed to say, like, not just taking supplements of Metamucil for, um, psyllium husk because that was what was recommended to me in the past when I was super constipated and needing to get more fiber. Why would you eat that when you can eat things that taste delicious? I mean, come on now, Metamucil tastes like crap and <laughs> you can eat veggies and fruit that tastes so much better and has fiber in it naturally and is so much better for you. But right now I'm doing colon cleanse, and the colon cleanse is literally just bentonite clay and psyllium husk. So <laughs> I'll get to that later. This is That's a special, special, special issue. But for, on a day-to-day -day basis, I get my fiber from plants. I don't take Metamucil anymore to um, help with um, my fiber intake and to get things moving. So anyways, to, to really fix that root cause of that, you need to eat more of a plant-based diet, get more fiber in. I don't recommend Metamucil. If you wanna do that, you can, but why when you can eat way more delicious stuff like fruits and vegetables? Okay, I'm ending that rant, but I'll also put in the links below why a plant-based diet is so great for you. It's been shown to, um, in studies, to reverse coronary heart disease. Like, no other, like, nothing else has been shown to do that, right? Like, so, anyways, I'm done with that. So, in the meantime, instead of, you know, maybe you've tried other renemies. <sighs> I can't even talk right now. Renemies. <laughs> Okay, today I just can't say that word, but you know what I'm trying to say, and it's not working. This colon massage will definitely help. So what you want to do is ideally lie down, okay? And when you lie down, you want to focus um, by starting always, always, always on the right-hand side, and this is your stomach lining, okay? It's going to go up this way and around and back down again, okay? And so typically you use these fingers and you're gonna come up, 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 up. And if you're really constipated, depending on, you know, it's gonna be different areas for other people, but you might start feeling it there. And just below your rib cage, then you're gonna start twisting and going this way. And then when you reach the other end, you're just going to come back down again. So you want to do this a few times because maybe even the first time it might have not felt anything. And then maybe you might feel it right here. Or maybe it's just down here. Okay, so you can just really do that. And sometimes if it's one area, like maybe it's just right here and it's just like stuck right here, you can just keep pressing down on it, okay? And the pressure, you don't want it too hard. It shouldn't be painful. And, and if anything's painful, stop, okay? It shouldn't be painful at all. But, you know, um, as you can see right now, like I'm getting little red marks because I am applying pressure on it. And that's totally fine. Um, but I wanted to share that with you. And plus, since you have an issues in that area, do that while laying down, if I didn't say that enough. And, you know, do that as many times as you feel like you need to. Um, you'll definitely, like, feel something. Like, it's crazy because you'll feel it just 
um, you'll feel it. Like, so if your fingertips are right here, like, you'll feel it right here. Like, food is, like, you'll feel the food moving. It's kind of trippy. And sometimes you'll even, um, like, hear noises, like little bubbles or something. And just keep doing it and just really listen to your body. Like, it's a really cool exercise to really be attuned to your body. So I highly recommend that. Also, um, I just want to give you a few more tips since you're having issues in the bathroom. I've been there, and so one really simple and easy thing to do is to breathe. This sounds too simple, but honestly, breathing makes a huge difference. Like, I'm talking about deep breathing because what does breathing do it gets your circulation going and it's gonna push and it's gonna push crap out of you if you want that crap out of you so really breathe and don't stress while you're in the bathroom okay so having that really relaxedness when you're going okay third is lift your feet up okay i don't know if you guys heard of the poop stool but if you haven't oh my gosh it was like music to my ears like three or four years ago when i first learned about it and what it is if you guys don't know is literally it's a stool that you put your feet on so that they're elevated and this is because when your feet are on the ground and your butt's like all the way up here and your feet are down here your butt is like closed okay and it's so much stress is put on it and pressure and that's why people get hemorrhoids right not only is there already stress on your anus from just sitting on a traditional american toilet but you're going <laughs> i did that while trying to go to the bathroom right so it's like additional amounts of crazy amounts of stress and um you don't want that. So what you want to do is you want to get this poop stool. And hello, if you don't even have money and want to save money, I feel you. You can go the ghetto route. Like literally just grab a box and put it underneath your um, toilet and use that. Or you can um, sometimes even just use like your uh, trash <laughs> bucket if it has like a lid on top of it. Because sometimes if I'm traveling or if I'm staying at a hotel... I mean, I'm not traveling with a stool, right? So I'll just use the trash, like I'll grab like the trash basket and, you know, just like put my feet on it. And sometimes there's no lid and it's just like the circle. So I'll try to like balance my feet on the side, like whatever you need to do, okay? Another way that I've just like finally just did because, you know, some people might get really technical with what the angle and needs to be, but it doesn't really matter. You just need to get it lifted to some degree. You can literally bring your feet all the way onto the toilet. So I'll literally bring my feet in like this and the heels of my feet are resting on the toilet bowl. So I kind of just do that now when I don't have anything and that works fabulous, okay? And that's why you see people in Asia, hey, what's up? We be crouching when we go into the bathrooms, right? That's how we used to do it. Hello, paleo, like that's how we used to go. We don't crouch anymore. We just sit on chairs like all the time. That's why most people can't crouch like Asian style, right? It's just like, oh my gosh. And even for me, it's so hard. I've been trying to practice and get that in more. Okay, anyways, enough. That's another video. So that's number three. Number four is um, not necessarily something that can help aid with you doing that better, but it is not being in the bathroom for that long. Okay, you might have this feeling that you gotta go and then you go in the bathroom and for whatever reason, like a shyness or <laughs> stress, it like goes away and it just doesn't happen, right? I don't want you to pull an Al Bundy and be in there for an hour trying to get this thing out of there, okay? If it doesn't come out within the first couple of minutes, then it's not happening, okay? And then I need you to get out of there, okay? Because the longer you're in there and stressing on that, it's just not gonna happen and it's not good for you and you have better things to do, right? So that's my huge tip before you spend like, like, 30 minutes or more in the bathroom, you know, would read my magazine, and it was like my happy place. 
<laughs> what was wrong with me because of stupid things like Al Bundy? I thought it was normal to read a newspaper in the bathroom. Like, that is not normal, okay? Like, you should only be in there for a few minutes and get out and enjoy life outside of the bathroom. Get out in the outdoors, okay? So those are my tips to hopefully help you get moving and going. But the big, big, big tip out of all of them is just to eat more of a plant-based diet. I swear to you, you will be going like there's no tomorrow compared to what you're doing right now. Diet is huge. So please check out those resources that I'm putting below to really give you the education to really be like, heck yeah, I'm going to stick with this because it has been shown countless, countless times that it is amazing. Okay. If you have any questions, please put them down below. If you have any questions for me besides this topic, also put them down below. Or you can email me if you feel weird just throwing out your questions out into the internet YouTube world. Then you can email me at connect at jennyclary.net. Also, I'd love to hear your comments below. Have you used any of these strategies? Do they help you? What other ones has helped you from um, not being so constipated so much? I would love to hear them in the comments below as well. Also, please like this video if you like what I'm sharing with you. And also, please share and with your friends and everything to let them know, like, hallelujah, how to get some poop going, okay? Also, please subscribe to my channel if you like these tips that I'm sharing with you and want to learn more about the fulfilled life through mind, body, and spirit. Also, last but not least, I would love to tell you that I love you and I think you are so amazing and I think a lot of times we are so hard on ourselves, we're our worst critics and we're just like slamming ourselves. So stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Give yourself a hug, you are amazing, you're doing the best you can and that's all you need to do, okay? Let Throw those standards out the window and let's start being happy and appreciative and grateful for what we have right now in this moment and how we are. Because we are shining stars, okay? So next time I'll talk to you guys. Bye.